Hey there, welcome back to Live Chat University. In today's lesson, we will be talking about the Live Chat homepage, the chat section, many cool features, and our integrations. Let's get into it. Let's start off with the Live Chat homepage. Now, we're diving into our Live Chat agent app and we're automatically in our homepage. If you do want to go to your homepage from, let's say, another section, then just click on the Live Chat icon right here and it will take you there. Now, here on our homepage, we'll find a lot of cool stuff. You have a real-time overview on your chats, your performance metrics, and so much more. Now, if you've just created your live chat account, then on the right, you'll see a sidebar with a list of tasks and suggestions. Moving on, chats. Let's start with what does getting a chat look like? Well, when a customer starts a chat, the first message they receive is an automatic message the welcome message. When the customer starts to type their message, you'll see what they're writing in real time. Now, this is thanks to the sneak peek feature, which we'll actually mention in a bit. Now, when you write a response, the customer can see that you are composing a message, but they can't see what you're writing. So where do chats actually come from? Well, the customer can send a message in the chat widget on your company's website, on the chat page, or in your company's mobile app. However, live chat lets you invite customers to chat. Now this can be done automatically with targeted messages or manually from the traffic section of the live chat agent app. Additionally, live chat can be integrated with social media messengers like Apple Messages for Business or SMS. Now, one more source of chats is the chat transfer, meaning a colleague can transfer a chat to your team or to you specifically. Let's dive into the chat section. We'll find it right here on our sidebar. Now, the chat section is where the communication between agents and customers happens. Now, live chat provides quite a few tools to help with handling chats effectively. Now, let's go check them out. So, here we have an overview of the chats list. And the chats list is divided into four sections. First of all, we have my chat. So you can find all of your ongoing conversations here. You can switch between them by clicking on the names of customers. Of course, we will let you know that you received a message through notifications. Then we have huge chats. Now here's where you'll find visitors who are waiting for an available agent. If you have some free time on your hands, just pick a customer from the list to start a conversation. Then we have unassigned chats that are chat messages submitted while your team is offline. Now, there are several integrations that allow customers to reach you during offline hours, like Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Twilio, and Apple Business Chat. Or if the availability of your chat widget is set to always, agents can answer new messages once they log into the app. Responses are sent to the visitor's email addresses as well as directly into the chat window on your website. So by setting your chat widget availability to always, it makes asynchronous communication really seamless. Right, let's move on to supervised chats. So these are the chats that are currently handled by other agents in your account. Now. You can see which chats you're supervising right here in the chat list. And if you do want to start supervising other chats, simply go over to the traffic section and click on supervise chat right here. So now we want to go back to the chat section and we can see that we are actually supervising this chat. What's interesting is that you can actually send your colleagues a private message when you are supervising their chat. Now we'll get into that in just a bit when we'll be talking about transferring chats. So for now, we know what types of chats we have. Let's go check out the chat feed. The chat feed is where the actual conversation takes place, AKA the heart and soul of our app. So let's go to one of our chats. And if we scroll up the feed, we'll see previous messages in the current conversation, as well as previous conversations, as long as the customer hasn't cleared their cookies. Let's take a look at the text area. So to send a message, just type in your answer and press enter. Your visitors can actually see when you're typing. This gives them a heads up that they've got to wait for your reply. Now, we do have some cool features for you within the chat. Let's start off by taking a look at Message Sneak Peek. So Message Sneak Peek lets you see what the visitor is typing before they send it over. Now, this allows you to start thinking of the answer before they even send the message. The next cool feature we have for you are canned responses. So canned responses are predefined messages that can store a large portion of text to be later recalled with shortcuts. 
All you've got to do is type in hashtag followed by the shortcut for the response you want to use. You must be thinking, that's great, Kaya, but how do I set it up? I'm getting there. So here's how you can add an already sent message to a canned response. The first thing you want to do is go and hover over the message and you'll see a plus icon up here. So we want to click on that and we see save reply as canned response. We have many fields here. We'll start from the top. Uh, we have shared and private. So all group members will have access to the shared canned responses. For the private ones, you will be the only person to have access to it. So we're just gonna go with shared. Then we have group selection. If you have several groups such as sales and support, you can create a response for a specific group. We'll talk about setting up agent groups in another lesson. For now, let's get back into it. Now we have um, response text, so the message that we sent. And in the corner, we actually have add variable. So custom variables let you automatically add your customers and agents' names and email addresses to your pre-saved messages. You can choose from various variables here. Right, then we have shortcuts. So you simply want to choose a shortcut here. I'm just going to put in return, returns, and we have suggest this response when chat was started, chat was transferred, many options to choose from. I'm going to go with chat was started. Click save and there you go. If you want to create a new canned response in chats, you'll need to open the canned response selector. So for that, you can either type in hashtag and go to add new, or you can simply just go to canned responses right here and click add new. You can also create a canned response in settings. For that, we want to go to settings right here and we want to click on canned responses, add new canned response, and from here it's all the same info you need to fill in. Right, let's go back into the chat section and see how you can transfer chat to another agent or group. So you're going to close this, we're going back into chats, and right here you'll see the three dots icon. Click on that, click on transfer to. Now you can either transfer the chat to another agent or to another group. Simply click on the agent and click transfer. Before you do that, please remember to inform the agent that you are sending the chat to. Now, when transferring a chat, you can also add a note to it. Notes are only visible to agents. So you wanna click add private note and we can simply type in, please, please take care of this customer and click transfer. And now you wanna to go to the traffic section and we can see that the chat has been transferred to another agent. Right, here's another thing that might come in handy. When a teammate supervises your chat, you can switch the toggle right here to private to send them a message that the customer won't see. Right, so the last feature I'm going to mention today is tags. At the bottom of the chat, you can see an add tag button. Now, you can use them to categorize uh, your chats and easily find conversations that deal with the same problem. Right, so here you can tag the chat with a tag, let's say support. To actually edit a tag, you wanna go into settings and you wanna to go to tags right here. So by now I think we've covered everything in the chat section, but how does the chat end? Well, either when the customer closes the chat widget on your website or when they leave your website. The chat will close automatically when there are no new messages sent in a given time. Now this can all be set in settings, chat settings, and inactivity timeouts. You can also close the chat on your end. Now, the first thing you wanna do is go back to the chat section and find it on the list and then click X mark. We can close and archive the chat. Right, that's more than enough about the chat section and all the features today. There was a lot, you've learned a lot, so congratulations. Now to be notified about our next lesson coming out soon, click on the bell icon. See you soon.